All right, guys. So I'm having a problem. For some reason, my stream isn't going well on a. Um, it isn't going through well on the streaming. You know what I'm doing right now. Um, it's not streaming well, and I gotta still fix some bugs and work out some bugs. So what you guys are gonna get is the normal video that I would have done if I wasn't streaming. Yeah, you know what I mean. If I was streaming. And you're gonna hear me react to this fool, Coach Red Peel. Fucking idiot. Um And like with an no takes and no cuts or some shit. So have fun with this. Definitely enjoy it. Um and until I get everything straight, tell me what you think. So let's go. The government simps for women. Now, you're going to see why I actually watched this video and I wanted to say some shit. Here we go. The biggest sexual competitor to men is the state. Oh my god, that shit is just so fucking loud. So, let's um, go ahead and do this. Catchy music. Yeah, it's very obvious because you see, in the past, men provided things for women. That was the whole point of it. Women provided sexual attractiveness, physical sexual attractiveness, which of course was a symbol, a sign rather, of uh, fertility. So, if you are all the way the Neanderthal, you would actually notice what the fuck he just said. He just said, the only good that men have for women is for sex. And the only good women have for men is to take care of them. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I personally, personally find a value for a woman and, you know, her friendship her, you know, her companionship, you know, yes, sex, of course, and, you know, but, like, if she can't get me going on good in the head department, no pun intended, she, she's not going to be good in the head department, you know what the fuck I mean, so, like, Sexual attractiveness? Dog, coach, like, is this why you divorce? But let's continue. That was why women looked the way that they do. They were showing to men by way of their long hair, by way of their breasts, by their hips and whatnot, that they were not only sexually available, but that they were fertile. Wait, no! There are plenty of men that will fuck a woman without having won't want to have a child and a whole long hair that isn't an actual natural thing there were men that had long hair too it is just something that has been standardized in the culture that you live in you idiot motherfucker like you really think you are that dumb enough to think that hey it's always been like this and women have always had long hair like there are still aboriginal people that are in Africa, that are in, you know, different country, uh, Amazons, that they don't have long hair. That's not a natural thing. That women have long hair, men have short hair. That's that's not how this works, dog. But let's continue. Men, on the other hand, what did they have to provide to women to show that they were capable of supporting uh, uh, the woman? Well, they had to show that he had physical prowess that he could provide the resources for her, for her and her children, their children. So that Dude, like, no, 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 no. Like, for real, if we want to go back to ancestral 
reasons of groups of men. Like, men usually hunted in packs. And, you know, people took care of kids in a communal sort of aspect. It wasn't just one man taking care of all the kids. It was literally a community. If we want to go to um, prehistorical times. The only reason why this shit that we got here now is because royals wanted to keep their bloodlines and convert and confirm bloodlines. That's it. And then people started like, well, if the king is doing it, then I can do it. But there are still colonies of humans that live in in Aboriginal places where it's not a well. I got to pass on my farm down to my son. It's a yeah. Let's make sure that everybody in the village is okay. But let's continue. That they would survive. That was the, that was the point. That was the transaction that's going on. But now, of course, in our civilization, we have the state that has taken on a whole host of functions that in the past were functions provided by individual men. For instance, this So, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't see Coach Red Pill being the person to be able to plow a fucking field to fight off the bandits. Like, I don't see him as that person. He doesn't look like that guy. He looks more or less to the ones that would be the scribes writing in the books and sucking off the king. Like, dude, no, you are not that guy. You are not big, tough, and macho and shit like that. No. Physical protect protection. Men in the past were the ones who provided the physical protection. Men in the past provided physical resources. These are now provided by the state by way of the uh, uh, police apparatus and the judiciary. Did he just, like, imply that if there were no police, then everybody would have to fit for themselves and it wouldn't be like this is what i don't get about these motherfuckers and i've said this before on videos about this man like how bad do you think your audience is to think that hey if it wasn't for society as a whole then we'll be all lawless reckless hedonistic barbarian barbaric animals like like I've exactly murdered, killed, and assaulted everybody that I've wanted to assault in my entire life. None. I haven't. Because that's not in my nature to just like, oh, I want to have your TV. Let me knock your head off and get the, your TV. That's not my thing. Why do guys like this think that... It's like the issue with G-Man. G-Man believes that everybody has gay thoughts. Dude, no, it's you because you have gay thoughts. Like, you may want to, like, know what the taste of penis is. Maybe Coach Red Peel is one of those guys that want to know what it feels like to extinguish somebody's life. You know, hey, I'm not going to actually shame you for having those desires, but stay the fuck away from me. But let's continue and the welfare state. It's no accident, of course, that in poorer areas, in poorer neighborhoods, among the poor demographic, there are more single mothers where the men have been, for all intents and purposes, shoved aside. So this is one of those things where it's just like, why were the men shoved aside? Were, were they just put in a different place or, or just pushed out of the way? Or was it criminalization for certain activities? I don't know, because of a certain racist policy that wanted to be taking place. Like, for real. Like, let's be fucking honest. The Nixon started the drug war because he wanted to criminalize black people. And he wanted, and Ronald Reagan made it better because that's when they started doing private prisons. Like, come on now. We, we know better than this. But let's continue. And the state has replaced them. The state is simping for women. The state is providing these resources because in lower class backgrounds, what, what happens with uh, the men there? They can't provide. They can't provide the material resources that a woman needs or wants. But the state can. But okay. Okay. So, like, 
this whole thing about lower class, you ever think about why there's a lower class? Like, come on, let's let's be honest. You ever think of why there's a lower class, why there's so many missing fathers, or fathers can't provide? Is it because they criminalize certain shit and then over police for it? Is it because of that? Is it because literally there has been a race to the bottom as far as what companies are willing to pay people in order to have them work for them? Is it because of that? Like, let's be honest. Is it because literally, literally, People aren't being paid enough to actually have a living wage. But, you know, of course, like, you know, of course, it's reasons. Like, shit like this makes me all types of piss. Because it's never a issue where, you know, hey, maybe the state actually helps with all these other bullshit that corporations are fucking us over. It's like, no, the state is bad and then you just, then it's your fault because you work for, because you work in this hellhole of environment. I'm getting off topic. Let's continue. By way of welfare. And so if the welfare state can provide women with a decent income with money enough for her to buy whatever she wants, why is she gonna hitch her wagon to some second-rate loser who can't. So, um, the first thing that I want to actually say is that, one, government benefits are not even close to being that prolific. Not even close to being that prolific. We can thank Ronald Reagan for that. We can also thank Bill motherfucking saxophone. Here, hold my cigar, Clinton, for that. It's not the case. There are there is not an epidemic of people saying, fuck having a man in my life. I want the government to send for me. That's not a thing. That is not a thing at all whatsoever. People don't just come off and say, well, um, I could have companionship. I could have love. I could have affection, you know, from a person in my life. But no, I I want that sweet, sweet government tea. Nobody says that, dog. Like, and if you believe that somebody does, then you have you've lived a charmed life. Well, you think government benefits are so great? It's just like the motherfuckers that say, "Well, people are getting extra money, and they get more money to stay at home than they would to actually work." The problem isn't people are getting more money to stay at home to, than they actually work. The problem is they're not getting enough money to live by going to work. God. And the fact is, you're still tying this thing. Like, Coach Red Pill has to be the most sorry sack of shit of a person. If he thinks that the only thing a man can give a woman is money and a home or all this other good shit... Damn, do you have a fucking personality, dog? Really? Really do you have a personality? Who are you? Like, I don't get it. I'm probably the brokest motherfucker that some women know. But they still want to be around me. They still want to know me. They still want to enjoy time with me. Because, you know, I treat them as a fucking person. Let's continue. Why would she hitch her wagon to a man when she can hitch her wagon to the state? The state will provide her with everything that she needs. Because a man has a penis. Because a man can actually hold her. I don't know, because a man can actually talk to her. I mean, like, granted, the government is fucking us all over, especially with Trump in office. But it's not the good fucking. It's the no towel, no kiss after. Get get your money and go the fuck on. I, I don't get it. It's like, 
I don't get where a lot of this bullshit is. Because with guys like him, it's just like they don't realize the indictment of what they're saying about themselves. But let's continue. And in point of fact, in a democracy, the state will continue to increase the amount of goods and services it provides to women. Of course, in order to win their vote. Politicians in a democracy. Wow. It's almost as if, like, one, we don't live in a situation where they're increasing any fucking benefits. That shit is fucking awesome. Like, if we actually lived in a state like that, that would be fucking awesome. But we don't. And what? It's almost as if your government should be doing shit to actually win your votes. What? Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. So what do men want? Why don't we use the system that way? Versus, no, let's cut off everything and make women with children or by themselves destitute and desperate so much so that they want to fuck us out of sheer sheer appreciation fuck out of here see they're not stupid politicians in a democracy recognize that women are half of the population and so of course they're going to be talking about giving more social services to women why in order to win their votes and but oh like <sighs> All definition. It's illegal to discriminate from one person to the next on the basis of gender, sex, age, all that shit. That's it's actually laws. A man who is in the same financial situation can also get those benefits, motherfucker. I, I this is the shit that I don't get. If you are a man that's financially struggling to this to the same extent that quote unquote these women who like to suck on the government's teeth and I promise that wasn't being like sexualized but then again think about another woman sucking on another woman's breast that fantasies for later um but men are eligible for the same services Especially if they have the same, they have all requirements. It's no special class of services for women that men can't get as well. But well, let's continue. And of course, women are going to vote for those politicians who promise to give them more resources. Of course they will. Because women are hardwired to desire more resources. Not for themselves necessarily, but rather for their offspring. I, I love this. Women have no agencies in this motherfuckers um it's in this motherfuckers like whole thing. Women won't want men because they don't want sex. Men don't, women don't want riches because they don't want it really for themselves. They want it for them kid their kids. It's like women are just vectors of just want and need. And it's just like really dog? Like really. Like is there no agency? But let's continue. Because, evolutionarily speaking, remember, women depend on the social environment to provide the resources to feed both herself and her child because a woman with a child cannot provide for herself. The fuck? Did he just infantilize women all? Did, like, okay, I know I have some kind of way some single mothers who want that know me so that that's just right off the back but two like did this motherfucker just say that women can't take care of themselves because reasons he literally just said women can't take care of themselves if they have a kid one that reflects Two things that reflects either you think raising a children are all but impossible to do 
which is kind of stupid for him to actually think and say. Or two, like, he thinks that, I don't, I don't know, like, does he really think that women just have baby and brain drops out, their brain drops out, or their ability drops out? Like, I don't get that. Maybe it's just the way he phrased it. And then he said, well, women evolutionary think of social status to take care of kids. By your own logic, you fucked it up because the fact is, men didn't use to do by themselves hunting. Men didn't do by themselves hunting. Men actually hunted, and they still do in Aboriginal cultures, in groups. It was never just one man f going out and being a lone soldier. That individualism shit. It, it wasn't a thing in Aboriginal cultures. But let's continue. And so, of course, in a modern democracy, she is going to be more interested in and supportive of a politician who promises more resources. Of course. Shouldn't everybody? God damn, this motherfucker is fucking stupid. Shouldn't everybody? Shouldn't everybody? Like... That is literally like saying that, whoa, well, because come on, I'm trying to dock and this motherfucker is there we go. Everybody should be going with the politician that promised to make life just a better place for ev this country. This world a better place for everybody. That's the nature of politics. It is a pol it is a policy that is there to make sure that people do get better lives. That's why we come together in the society. But let's continue. That's why women vote Democrat. Yeah, and of course, in order to rebalance the situation, what would have to happen? You'd have to have a party that says, no, we need women to be attracted to men. We cannot have the state interfering in that dynamic between men and women. Again, he actually just does it right here. It's like he doesn't get that he's just saying that women are only attracted to men because of what they can buy them. And I'm sorry, dog. I would hope that a woman is attracted to me, one, for my great good looks, two, my sparkling personality. I'm sorry. If I have to purchase you, I'm just waiting for the next motherfucker to come along and purchase you with even bigger money. If that's what it takes to get your attention in a world where financial security is not a thing literally is not a thing if that's what it takes to get you then i've already lost you dog like uh, it's not no but let's continue so therefore the state should cut back on the welfare system cut back on all these resources that it provides to women because they're simply women cut back on those resources so that men Whoa, whoa. Did he just say it because they're simply women? Like, the fuck? Wow. Wow, like, I'm I'm totally fabricated. Like, they're women. They don't know what to do with resources. Like, like that's what he just implied. Let's continue. And to fill this vacuum, do you think any politician in his right mind would ever promulgate such an idea in a democracy? Come on, wake up. Never. It's never going to happen in a million years. That's why in a democracy, the state is going to continue to give more and more resources to women 
encroaching on the role of men. Wait, the fucking role of men? Like the? I don't get it. Like, uh, do you only think you are as a fucking wallet? The role that I would play to a woman would be fucking companionship. And I'm not saying that, and, and I'm, I'm harping on this a lot, but I'm not saying that you can't financially support your partner if y'all have that partnership. But um, this whole thing about that's the man's number one reason. Who are you fucking selling this bullshit to? Let's continue. Cutting men out. The state will continue to simp for women because it's to the politician's advantage and it's to women's advantage. And the few men, like you and myself, for instance, who recognize this and point it out, we're going to be silenced. We're going to be called misogynist, troglodytes, uh, uh, all kinds of names, whatever. Dude, I'm not calling you misogynist. I'm not calling you a troglodyte. That would be an insult to troglodyte. I would classify you as a misogynist because the term actually started from an unreasonable hatred of women because I think that you have an unreasonable hatred of women because you think that they're so infantile and so stupid that only thing they want you for is your money that shows the type of women that you actually you know pursue or have because in the end uh, no like my ex right now now, I would never classify all women after my ex, even how bad it actually ended. And, yeah, money is a tool for her to actually try to beat. Like, dude, but no. Some people are just shit. Some people are shit to other people. Some people are shit to, um, to non-people. Like, I don't, like, do I, I worry about you because... I think you I think you really don't understand what you're saying. I don't I don't think you understand the breadth or the width of what you're saying about you know what you think your audience are or what you what you are. I don't think you get it cuz if you did, you wouldn't say some of the shit that you're saying right now. But let's continue. <laughs> Muted them. Best improvement to the video ever, right? Talking about getting in the way of any person, be they man, woman, or whatever, getting between any person and resources that come for free from the state, well, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna throw a big old tantrum. That's what they're gonna do, of course. I mean, think about it. Then you know what? what kills me is this. Women pay taxes. Women actually do also work. The state takes their money. Like, I don't, like, not every single mother, like, uh, let's listen, Red Pill. Let's listen, Red Pillars and, like, incels and all the other good bullshit. Not every woman who has a child is on welfare. That's not a thing for a lot of women. I would say a majority of women who have children that are single are not on welfare. That's not a thing. And this belief, because you've never ventured out of your mother's fucking basement or attic, depending if it's a big mansion or not, or your friend's couch, not every single mother's on welfare and i'm sorry if you have that that's like saying all black people are are, are 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 bad people like that's not a thing and for you to actually think that it's sad now coach red pill knows better he knows better he's selling you this shit to try to make a profit off of youtube but i, I just want to introduce you to not all single women are on welfare but let's continue yeah, you got some nice gravy train going, huh? 
and somebody starts saying, you know, we should cut this gravy train, and what are you going to say? You're going to say, no, 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 no. I don't want anybody to cut my gravy train. That's, of course, what you're going to say because you're a person. Yeah? And we people, men, women, children, all of us, we are lazy. And it's He's only half true with this. We did evolve. We did evolve to conserve energy. But something tells me he's going to put more emphasis on women being lazy and selfish and heartless, as he always does. But let's continue. If somebody is offering to give us something for free, of course we're going to take it. Women are no different. And women have been promised so much, and they are given so much by the state. And Called it. That's what's happened. And the growth of the welfare state is what has made men get marginalized. The only men who are still in the game, as it were, are the high status men, the men who, quite frankly, can provide more resources than the state. So let me get this straight. The only men that actually have their choice of women are high status men. I'm gonna call bullshit on that because Dude, I, I date. I still interact. Like, I don't... I'm not a have, have money having guy. Of course, I'm a high value guy. Look at me. I'm great. But it's not out of I have all the money in the fucking world. No, I'm just a decent fucking human being. For the most part. And for you to actually sit back and say that, well, only men who are rich can actually get women, bullshit. Oh, but you probably have an answer for that, Coach Redfield. You you just be saying, well, they're just using the women. Like, no, like, let's continue. Those men, the guys who are like middle class, solidly middle class and higher, who can provide a better living standard than the guy who's like slightly below middle class and everybody below him, well, those guys are doing okay. But as the state increases the amount of resources that it gives to women by way of laws that protect them, by way of welfare payments and whatnot, by way of all the things that policy... Notice he didn't actually clarify that. The only thing he clarified is laws. What laws have the has the government actually enforced that has made it advantageous for women versus what it was previously that you couldn't force your, you know, you couldn't commit marital, marital rape or you couldn't force your wife to stay in a marriage that she didn't want to? Like, this is shit where it's just like, wait, what? Laws? Laws is a gift of the state. I thought laws was a actual expression of the power of the state and the expression of what the state would actually enforce through sometimes mostly violence. But no, no, no. They're gifts from the state. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Politicians promise to women in order to get their votes. As that amount of good services... Funny. Some of the times when we've had the most increase in welfare states there were still more men voting and ironically some of the most socialistic things that we've had in the fucking united states say like i don't know the new deal were brought forth by men and not because they wanted to actually get the women on their side no because they wanted to motherfucking stop the Great Depression. Because people don't starve quietly. But let's continue. This resources increases. The number of men who will be able to compete with the state will begin to shrink. As we have seen happen. Yeah, and so you have fewer and fewer men whom women are sexually interested in. Women don't just want your wallet. Sometimes they want your penis too. Sometimes they just want your attention. Sometimes they just want your perfection. Protection. Women don't just want your wallet, Coach Red Pill.
fewer and fewer chads at the top of the sexual hierarchy. They get the spoils, the sexual spoils of all the women. And a larger and larger group of men are left with the hairy palm and porn. Huh. He looks so smug like he didn't figure it out. Huh. Like, for real. For real. Like, no. 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 Oh my God, you're so fucking simple. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like. I don't get his whole thing about saying that um, I don't get his whole thing about like constantly equating monetary value to sexual attractiveness. That lets me know that he's coming from a perspective of his own. And we all do that. We all fucking do that. But for you to actually sit back and say Equi keep equating money to desire Let's me know some shit about you, dog. But let's continue. Uh -huh. That's basically it. That's their lives, which is horrible. But this is happening. How to change this, I have no idea. But this is what's happening. Don't pretend otherwise. Our civilization is literally destroying the sexual dynamics between men and women. In the name of providing resources for those who are poor, for women who are vulnerable and whatnot, which is perfectly fine. It's a I feel like a broken, broken record right now. A man's value isn't just his, like, God damn it. Like, this is the shit that pisses me off. And like, I'm not some fucking red pill or some shit like that. This is what pisses me off when I see this shit on Facebook. This is the shit that pisses me off when I see the shit like in so many different places. Like I saw something recently. Like how how come a man, men don't know how to court women? It's from a time, it's from a place where they think that a man needs to show that he can provide for a woman, that he's earned the right to date her. And I reject that shit. Because one, she has to earn the right to show me that she's a decent enough person that I can be around. She has to earn the right to show that, you know, she's somebody that's not harmful to others or herself. Just as I would actually show that same dynamic to her. But this whole thing of just like, yo, I, I need to... I need to prove that, um, I need to prove that, um, or she needs to prove that, like, I need to prove my worth to her. That's, sh that shit is just like, how? Like, what is wrong with you? But we're almost finished. Let's continue. Perfectly fine sentiment. I mean, I'm not some monster saying that this is a bad sentiment. No, but it has created perverse incentives. It has created the situation whereby Middle class, lower middle class, and lower class women are not interested in a man. No. What? Wait, what are they interested in? I don't see this wave of just women that's swearing off men. No. I see a wave of a lot of women not wanting to just settle down in, in marriages that they're unhappy with. I see that shit. But you can have companionship without... Oh my God, I need to be super married to this one person to show that how this relationship is like, no, that's, that's not a thing. Like, that's not a required thing at least, but let's continue. Why would they be interested in a man? They're only going to be interested in a man who's fun to be around with, who's hot, but not a man who can provide them long term. Oh, so he recognizes that he's one not fun to be around with. He thought I was going to go for the simple shit. Like, no, seriously. People, 
not just women. People like being around people that they find fun to be around with. And you can be hot to somebody without the all the physical situations. You can be hot because somebody just loves your fucking personality. But something tells me, Coach Red Pill, that's not something that you've actually been told. Let's continue. Why would they look for a man who can provide for them long term? They have the state who will provide for them long term. That's the per perverse incentive that the welfare state has created. And it affects men, you. I mean, I know that my audience is 97.5% men. <laughs> I know who I'm talking to. Yes, you do know who you're talking to. Fucking losers. That's what you believe. You believe that the only thing a man can offer a woman is fucking money. And you would be, they will be great. They will be gods worshipped. Because... They're fucking somebody only desperate enough to fuck them back for a bowl of fucking porridge. And if you think that is... If you think that is somebody truly desiring you, that they're fucking you for food, then, my friend, you have a shitty personality. You have to compete with the state. You have to be better than the state. In order to get a woman, you better be either extremely sexually attractive or upper middle class or higher in terms of material resources. Or else you are going to be with no woman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Notice he didn't mention a lick of personality. He didn't mention a lick of loyal, faithful, he didn't, funny. He didn't, like he just says money. Or attractive. That's not how this works, Chief. That's not how this works. If you're not rich or attractive, then... I told you guys I wouldn't cut. If you're not rich or attractive, then you're shit. I like, like, for real, like, do people actually listen to this bullshit? Let's continue. And it's because of the state. It kind of sucks now, doesn't it? Well, Coach Ray Pill, you would know about sucking. All right, so. I'm going to say this. and I'm going to let the video go for this time. The fact that you don't understand that... Um, personality is a big thing when it comes to women the fact that you don't understand that you know how you treat somebody is more than just the money that you spend for them or on them or that other good bullshit coach I, I don't know what's going on but maybe you need to see some help speak with somebody get that little you know, mental issue that you have going on fix. And guys, if you're watching him outside of like tearing his ass down or laughing, you know, uncontrollably at him, I will, will implore you to do this. See life from somebody else's shoes, not just your own. But anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody who's watched today. Please hit that like or follow button and thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.